when the lockdown commenced initially, um, when the country went into alert level five, we had to evacuate our entire operations. Obviously, that, that was what was required um, um, based on the announcement made by the president. Um, so that involved making sure we moved all our people out uh, and, and, and making sure we started to adhere to a strict measure of testing, uh, educating our staff around what the requirements need to be, putting in place work from home procedures, but we also had to do some care and maintenance during the lockdown period. And during that period, um, like most companies, I'm sure we had to introduce a, a whole range of HR policies to deal with work from home, salary adjustment, leave adjustments, uh, and all those sorts of things, which, which hasn't been easy on, on the business and on, on, on most of our staff. We were, however, quite pleased that when we moved from uh, alert level five to alert level four, we were offered the opportunity because uh, we, we form part of the mining sector, we were given the opportunity to ramp up our fully integrated cement plants like uh, the open cast mining sector where we could run at 100%, but our depots, our offices and all our other operations could only run at 50%. So, so that startup involved also a lot of screening, testing, um, our, our medical teams and the people at our various operations put quite a huge effort into making sure that our staff coming back to work was safe and, 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 and tested and, and, and all that sort of thing. So, so yeah, been very busy. And then, of course, another second round of adjustments from our HR policies, making sure that who's able to come back, who's not able to come back to work. And how do we compensate the various people? So it is. It, it has been quite challenging, but we are also very pleased that we were able to accommodate all our employees and 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 um, to make sure that we didn't put anybody at risk. If you consider that uh, for the entire month of April we didn't sell a single product, be that cement, ready mix, or aggregates. Um, so we generated virtually no revenue for the entire month of April. So the, uh, and we still had some fixed costs because we still paid all our staff during the month of April. Uh, because um, even though we made some adjustments and asked some of our staff to take unpaid leave in certain instances, we didn't cut salaries completely. So yes, we did make some losses uh, for the month of, of, of April. On a year-to-date basis, we are significantly down compared to last year. And if you've listened to the um, webinar we had with Dr. Azar Jameen uh, last week, uh, our decline is more or less in line with uh, the rest of the market. We're sort of forecasting a decline in volumes of about 20 to 25% as a result of, of what has happened due to the lockdown. The pandemic, I'm sure, has uh, forced a lot of companies to accelerate some of the things they had been working on already. I mean, everybody has been talking about the fourth industrial revolution and how we need to digitize and, and look at various ways of um, eliminating uh, the labor intensive stuff that uh, industrialized economies tend to do. Um, so we have two parts to our business. There's one part of the business that even though we would like to uh, introduce as much uh, automation as possible, um, there's certain parts of the business where we simply cannot do more than we've already done. So our cement operations, the mining sector, the load and haul, um, how we process um, our clinker manufacturing process, how we bag the cement products, we've pretty much implemented as much uh, mechanized processes as possible. There's probably still some, some scope for, for, for further mechanization. However, if one also considers that our country has close to 30% unemployment, um, we're also very mindful of balancing job losses in terms of mechanizing even further and then causing more people to be out of out of a job but 
certainly from um, an admin perspective, uh, people who are involved in, 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 in our um, uh, head office operations, people involved in, in, in credit control and finance and those sorts of things, there I think what you will see going forward is like most other companies, we will be looking to extend the, 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 the work from home even way beyond lockdown. It might even become a permanent situation where people will be encouraged to work from home as much as possible and we will scale back on face-to-face -face physical contact as much as we possibly can. I think just before the lockdown, FreeSAM purchased over 100 laptops and issued all our head office staff, uh, our contact center staff, people who are involved with uh, transactional stuff. They've all been issued with laptops so they can work from home. And I think um, that investment will, will, will all go well for us as we go into the future. Um, uh, we will be looking at negotiating and maybe reducing office space, looking at our lease agreements and, and everywhere where we can encourage people to work from home in future, we certainly will make sure we do that.